Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be looking at how to build a weekly calendar in Rome. So here we are in Rome in our blank daily notes section. And we're gonna go ahead and make a new page and we're not gonna link it to our daily notes. And there's a very specific reason why is because we don't want this linked to any date. It gets a little confusing that way. So we're gonna type in weekly calendar, oops, calendar. And here at the front, if you're on a Mac, you can hit control command space bar and that gives up the emoji keyboard. We're gonna do the calendar just so it looks a little bit more fun, right? A little bit more lively. We're gonna go ahead and hit the star in the upper right hand corner and that's gonna add it to our shortcut so it's easier to get to. And we're gonna add a block that starts this coming Monday. So we're gonna do backslash date picker and we're gonna choose Monday, May 4th. And then we're gonna add a hyphen and we're gonna do backslash date picker Monday, May 11th. That way every week is on a new block. It just makes it a little bit more organized. So 10 weeks from now, you don't have to sort through all these different areas. You just have 10 weeks um, in a block. It just makes it look a lot more organized. So we're going to hit return tab. And here we're going to do every single day in this week. So we're going to do month or uh, backslash date picker and hit the fourth and enter backslash date picker, the fifth. And we're going to do this for the entire week until we get to the 11th. We're gonna do Monday to Sunday, that way it doesn't get too confusing. So we're actually gonna go Monday, May 4th to Monday, May 10th. So next week we have Monday, May 11th to Sunday, May 18th. So it just makes it a lot more organized. So here's Monday, May 4th. And the reason we're picking the date picker is so each day this week, automatically everything you write down in your to-dos now is going to show up on your daily notes page. This makes it more automatic and it makes you have to think less, which is a good thing because the more work our computers can do for us, the less stuff we have to remember in our brain. So let's say on Monday, I have to contact one of my coworkers, Caleb. So I'm gonna hit enter and we're gonna say finish homework for econ because I'm taking summer classes because it sucks. So I finish homework for econ and let's say listen, whoops, listen to not overthinking podcast. Podcast by Ali Abdal and his brother. Um, I think it's really good, pretty funny, insightful podcast to listen to. So those are the three things that I wanna get done on Monday. Now contacting Caleb is very high priority for me. So I'm gonna do hashtag P1, I'm gonna hit enter. And I'll show you why we do that in a second. So go ahead throughout every single day this week. So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And go ahead and write down things that you need to get done. And you're gonna follow me. So I'm gonna say Tuesday, I have a weekly sermon video clip. And I'm gonna do a P1 here, make that a to-do. And call fiance about flowers for the wedding. And it's like a P2, so we have priority two there. Uh, Wednesday, what do I have to do? Work on next room video. And that's gonna be a P1. Make that a to do. Thursday, we're gonna do write blog about Shakespeare. That's a P1. We're gonna make that a to do, and we're gonna say text Dax, and that's gonna be a pre a P3. Add that a to do. So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, May 8th. We're gonna do read two chapters of, oops, double bracket. I'm gonna do essentialism. It's my book that I'm reading right now. And homework. Here and make this a P2 Sunday and go to call my 
parents, my dad to do, and B1. So here we have our week. We have all of our to do's that we need to get done this week with sorted priority tags. And the reason we added priority tags was because we can go up here to this filter page and all of these are either pages or links that we can look at. So if we wanna look at just the things that we absolutely need to get done, our priority ones this week, we can just click P1 and that's gonna sort through all of our to-do list and say, okay, these are the things I need to focus on. I absolutely need to get done this week. To remove that, you just hit shift click and it takes it off. Say you don't wanna see any of your P2s, but you wanna see everything else. You can shift click P2 and it's gonna take out all of your party twos, but it's gonna leave in all the party threes and ones and stuff that doesn't have any priority tags associated with it. So pretty simple, right? The cool thing though is now say this is, say we're on May 7th and we click into this. Now, this is what my daily notes page is gonna look like on the morning of May 7th. So I can see, oh yeah, I need to write my blog about Shakespeare, which is a priority one, and I also need to text Dax, which is a priority three. So that's the cool thing about using the date picker. At the beginning of the week, you can look at the week ahead and say, okay, here are the things I need to get done every single day this week. That way, they're not on a random piece of paper somewhere, they're not stuck in your head, they're in your weekly calendar, which auto-populates to all of your daily notes pages. Pretty cool, right? Okay, it's looking a little hectic right now with all these to-dos, so we can collapse all of these in one click by just going up to the parent block and hitting command up. That's gonna collapse everything. If we wanna expand it, we're gonna hit command down and that's gonna expand the entire block. Say we just wanna expand Monday, May 4th, we're gonna go to it and hit command up and it's gonna collapse it. So that's a pretty cool keyboard shortcut. That is command up or down. So a, a shortcut I like to use as well is this thing called query. A query is cool because it basically is a search filter that automatically populates the given fields that you give to it. So it gets a little complicated, but basically a query is, as you tell it, look through this page and find things with the tags X, Y, and Z, or X and Z, or X and Y, and X and Z. So that's all the query is. It's basically just a, a cool search filter you can use in your Roam database. And we're gonna use that here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in priority. And we're gonna right click on the bullet and we're gonna do H2. That way it kind of gets our attention. So it kind of stands out from the links and everything else on the page. Next, we're gonna paste this query. And all this query is saying is saying, query, search my to-do page and return results that are tagged with priority one. So if we click out of this, it's going to return all of the results on the to-do page that are tagged with priority one. Now, what makes this really cool is that no matter what is collapsed, what week is collapsed, I always see my priority one tasks and the things I need to be focused on the most. So say I don't wanna see my P1s, but say up here, this contact Caleb, say instead of me tagging P1, say I wanna contact Caleb next week. So I'm gonna do a next week tag. And then I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna close that, command up. And then I'm gonna go down to my query and I'm gonna change out the tag for P1 and say next week. Turn the results in the to-do page that are tagged with next week. So now when I'm gonna create my next week calendar, I see, oh yeah, I have to contact Caleb sometime this week. I hope this can help you have more productive weeks, get more things done, and be a lot more organized with your projects. Hey, if you liked this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you have a question, leave a comment down below, or you can hit me up on Twitter at Dalton Mabry. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.